Good afternoon guys, hope you're all well. Ghostface Fruit back with another review. And this is my ultimate NECA Freddy figure that I got a few weeks ago. I've been meaning to post a review of it for a while so I figured I'd do it today. Um, hope you like it and let's get straight into it. So, first thing I'll say about this figure is it's slightly more difficult to stand up than the other NECA figures due to I don't know whether it's something to do with Freddy's legs or the way he's designed, but he just seems to be fairly prone to falling over. So he's a bit of a pain at times, but when you get him balanced, it's, he is alright though. It just takes a while to do it. So let's look at the figure first of all. So he comes with this classic fedora that is removable. Um, I'll show you that now. I'm not too keen on the face sculpt of this head, it comes with two heads, but it's. Uh, I think that the body they did really well with, it's just the face that I don't really think is that great. Got his classic iconic razor glove, which is really nicely detailed and painted properly. He's got black, uh, black shoes, and these trousers are in, in person a sort of a cross between really dark blue and black. It's hard to say, but the burns are fairly fairly well designed. It's a nice sculpt other than the face on this one. The sweater's good, and it's actually uh, flexible. Not much, but slightly movable, the, the sweater. Um, this is what the back of this figure looks like. So this is the... Um, Necker Ultimate Freddy. So that's the figure itself. Just stuck them up over there to the side. And the box he comes with is it's got a picture of I believe her name was Nancy, I can't really remember. I've not watched the original in a while, I think it was Nancy though. And then Freddy with the uh burnt face. Nightmare on Elm Street. It's a pretty vintage style box. And then the side 30th anniversary Ultimate Freddy. The back uh, shows the accessories that it comes with. There's just a bit of an image of Freddy. Just tells you a rough um, explanation of what's going on with Nancy. Here it is, Nancy and Freddy. And he comes with the phone, the tongue, the um, clip on face. A different Freddy head and a different finger, um, sorry, hand where it's the finger is squirt in the green ooze slash blood and the skinned face. So I'll show you the accessories he comes with now. So, like all the other NECA figures, it comes with the Velcro on the box. And this is the image that is inside the box uh, just a normal Freddy image. And in this, uh, we have the second Freddy head, which I might actually put on. It's a nicer design. Don't know how well you can see that. Probably not very well. But he's grinning in that one. I think it looks better than that one. So I might take that off now and put that one on. He also comes with this head, which is the skinned face. So he comes with two alternate heads. Um, you can either have, just have that on for him to wear, or you can put this skin mask over the top of it, which is cool. Um, and then on this side he comes with the foam of the tongue from when he calls um, Nancy. And then his hand with the green ooze coming out of the finger. Um, that's it really in regards to his accessories, it doesn't really come with much. Uh, this is the top of the box age 6 and up. So I uh, I got this one on eBay um, and yeah I'm pretty happy with it. As I said I'm going to change the head now um, just due to the fact that I think that the, the face on this one itself that it comes with isn't actually that nice compared to the one in the box so I might do an update showing you what this figure looks like with the alternate head on because it definitely will look better. Um, 
Right, but other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, it's a cool figure. I'd rate it maybe a seven out of ten. Um, but you know, it's worth picking up if you're in, on the lookout for a new NECA figure, and you enjoy the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, movies and the NECA figure line. Um, and just if you're, a, you know, a collector of a Nightmare on Elm Street in general. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Um, I'm probably going to be posting a video tomorrow, either showing my custom homemade Leatherface 1974 uh, costume, or uh, my entire Ghostface mask collection, or my entire mask collection in general, I don't know yet, but let me know which you prefer, and I'll do that. Uh, let me know what you prefer first in the comments. Alright, cheers guys.